Hi, my name is Dr. John DeYard and welcome to LifeSpa.com where we prove ancient medical wisdom with modern science. And today I want to talk to you about one of the major groups of bacteria in our intestinal tract called bifidobacteria. When we're born, our intestinal tract is pretty much 90% bifidobacteria. And as we age, we slowly lose this incredible beneficial population of good bacteria and to the tune where we get older we actually get down to about three to six percent bifidobacteria while other microbes begin to take over and proliferate. Now in the western microbiome we have three basic types of bugs or microbes in our gut. We have good guys, we have bad guys, and we have spectator microbes that don't do a lot of good or bad. They just take up a lot of valuable real estate. Our intestinal microbiome is something that is space occupying, limited by how much space is available. There's only so many swing sets on the playground and you can't get a swing until someone leaves. So it's very, very important for us to realize that we have a lot of bacteria that have taken over our intestinal microbiome because of antibiotics and a poor diet, but foods that have been sprayed with insecticides that kill the microbes that help make our intestinal microbiome. Uh, lifestyle stress, a host of things have caused us as we age to lose the beneficial bifidobacteria. So you could say that the probiotic industry was built upon the need to reboot bifidobacteria because of all of the science that suggests that the more bifidobacteria you have, the healthier you have. They changed the fats into short chain, the fiber rather, into short chain fatty acids, which support immunity, health and integrity of our intestinal tract, blood sugar, blood pressure, a host of health concerns. They keep the balance of the good bugs in your intestinal tract. They actually manufacture enzymes and, bacteria and vitamins inside of our gut, which is very, very important. They're linked to our immunity. They're linked to healthy pregnancy weights. The list goes on and on and on and on about why bifidobacteria are very, very important and why we should do things to support them. We know they love soluble fiber, but you can't just say, well, let's just take a bunch of soluble fiber and fix the problem. There's a bigger piece to that. And that bigger piece is nature. We know that the gut bugs in our body change from season to season. It's new Stanford University research. They came out measuring the Haza tribe, and I've written a lot about that. We also know that the, that the soil microbes change from season to season. So we also know that the fibers change from season to season. In the winter time, when it's cold out, we are harvesting ch chia seeds and flax seeds and nuts and grains, all of which are rich in soluble fiber, which is slimy fiber. In Ayurveda, we call it anti-vata or vata balancing fiber. That soothes and lubricates and antidotes the dryness of winter. But those bugs that are proliferating like crazy in the fall when we're eating all these foods from the ground, unsprayed with insecticides that have all the bugs on them, those foods are natural probiotics for us that feed the intestinal microbiome. But we also have all that good fiber which is laying down in an environment for those good permanent residents to proliferate, which is very, very important. And we have a completely different type of fiber in the spring, which is more the roughage and the insoluble fibers, which, which support the growth and proliferation of other types of strains of bifidobacteria. So there's many, many strains of bifidobacteria that rotate in winter, summer, and spring. It's sort of a beautiful ebb, right? That's our natural connection to the cycles of nature. So how do we reboot our, our, uh, our bifidobacteria content and protect them from becoming three to 6% as we get older? Well, there's no doubt that fiber is the key. If you look at the ancient humans versus modern humans, you have, and you look at the real foods that they ate, the amount of proteins, fats, and carbohydrates is according to the, the story of the human body by Daniel uh, um, Lieberman, who's a Harvard professor, anthropologist, found that they eat about the same, they ate about the same protein and fat and carbs as we do today. The one kind of nutrient that jumped off the page was their fiber intake. They get about 100 grams of fiber, or got about 100 grams of fiber per day. We get 15, 20 if we're really healthy. At least five times more fiber than we get. What does fiber do? Supports the good, healthy bacteria. So that's something that we need to do. 
And in the article associated with this video, I give you strategies to help rebuild this. But here's the, here is it, the, the plan in a nutshell. I like laying down good fiber with things like chia and flax seeds that are organic. I think that's really good. We have a tea called the Slippery Elm Prebiotic Formula that you boil down from two quarts to one quart, make this thick, viscous tea, and we coat your whole intestinal tract, tablespoon dosages throughout the day, like the Pepto-Bismol commercial, to coat your whole intestinal tract and create that environment. Now, the next thing is, do we want to take a probiotic? Yes, but not for the rest of your life. The goal is to create an environment that you can use foods and diet and lifestyle to change your microbiome seasonally and support a good, healthy microbiome. But a lot of us need a little Kickstarter. So there are two types of probiotics on the marketplace. There's transient ones and colonizers. Colonizers are relatively new. Uh, transient ones, if you take them, they work great, but if you don't continue to take them, everything sort of goes back to the way it was. There are colonizing probiotics that are new strains that actually adhere to the epithelium of your intestinal tract and proliferate the growth and proliferation of other new gut microbes to the tune of about 60%. So if you lay down a good environment with the right fiber and then you lay down colonizing probiotics, you can get on, get better, get off, and not take probiotics for the rest of your life. That is an important piece to understand. And that's, we have one called, the, the bacteria I'm talking about is called bifidobacteria, HN019, which is one that's been shown to adhere to the gut wall. And there's other ones that we have in our formula called Flora Restore Max and our Flora Restore products, which are very, very valuable, I think, to get on them, get better, and get off so you're not taking a probiotic for the rest of your life. A seasonal reset, fine. Lifetime of that, I'm not a fan of that. Now, if you have a problem and you have some digestive issues, maybe we need to knock out some of those spectator bugs and repopulate with some good bugs. And for that, we have a product called Gut Revival, which has Saccharomyces, which is a, a yeast that knocks out some of the bad guys and makes room for some of the good guys to proliferate, it's sort of half Saccharomyces and half of these colonizing probiotics. So you end up knocking out the bad guys, but very quickly put the good guys back in there because sometimes fiber can uh, proliferate the growth of the bad guys as well. But if you put the colonizers in there with the fiber and you have the antagonistic Saccharomyces boulardii in there to keep the bad guys proliferating, proliferating, I have wonderful effects by rebooting a healthy microbiome that way. But the key, the end game here, is to beef up our bifidobacteria. And that can definitely be done. And there's a handful of ways to do it with diet and eating seasonally. Definitely as part of the plan that I write about in the article with this video is to download my free seasonal eating guide where you get every month of the year, you get a recipe list and a grocery list and a superfood list and a, and a little article about from me about what's happening in this month that we should be tuning into and keying into to get the bugs from the soil into our food, to our gut, to change our microbiome and keep those bugs reinstalling new software to upgrade the circadian clock that's in every single cell of our body. That's how it works. The clocks come from the soil bugs and we need to stay connected to those with organic, not sprayed foods that have, been, that have killed all the microbes that make the enzymes, that make the vitamins that we need to digest foods, hard to digest foods like wheat and dairy and nuts and seeds and grains and beans, but also the vitamins that we need to support optimal health. And bifidobacteria, science shows that is that the, the longer, the, the more bifidobacteria we have. The centenarian people who live the longest on the planet, they have the highest rates of bifidobacteria. So it's worth going for those guys. All right, thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Diard. Hi, did you like this video? Do you like our content here at Life Spa? You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash John Diard right here and get this valuable content every week in your inbox. This recording is brought to you by Life Spa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at lifespa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.